already ready, and they just got to keep it warm. So we have appetizers. Mm-hmm. We have soup slash sa- uh, soup slash salad. Then we have entree, and we have desserts. Those are the four categories. And then we will have uh, judges. Our judges are going to be uh, Judge Ernestine Honduras, who is, like I mentioned, is on our board. Mm-hmm. We're going to have Chef Erling Jensen. We going oh, to. Oh, I know him. He yeah. Does, he does good work. Yeah. He has a restaurant. He does. He still has he a restaurant? Two, yeah, two restaurants. Okay. Two restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. And so one is high scale, and the other one is uh, yes, you know, yes, us uh, for for the regular people like me. So <laughs> <laughs> then we have Chef Fran Mosley. I'm just excited about uh, her saying yes. And then we have Chef Philip Ashley. Everyone knows about his great chocolates. Yeah. And so of course he could not be uh, a contestant in the chocolate category. It would probably been difficult to beat him. Right. And then we have uh, Representative Antonio Parkinson. What? Yeah, well, you know, you know, he's a retired firefighter. You know, yeah, the firefighters, know. they 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 swear they can cook, man. Well, they swear. I know, I know. And, and, uh, and Antonio's always on social media cooking some kind of meal. Yeah. So he insisted on being a judge. So we're happy to have him as a judge. Good. We I know he's gonna be out there talking a lot of smack because right. there's Antonio. Yeah. And then the chairman of our board is Sydney, uh, Doctor Sydney P. Malone. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna be pretty much an honorary judge, and he initially was gonna be a judge, but he had to go out of town this week. So he's going to fly back in Friday to be here Saturday, and then he's going to fly right back out to his conference. So, wow. Yeah, so I'm excited about our judges. We got some really, really talented, uh, and, uh, I mean, they, they're great judges. So, And then we got a lot of cooks, man. So, <laughs> I, I, so when, you, when you said, Gail, men who cook, and I'm thinking about the men who cook that I know. Yeah, the men who cook. And I'm going to tell you one thing I'm, le- I'm learning, babe. What? There's a difference between the cook and the chef. Okay. And, and the chefs, they don't want me calling them cooks. Okay. <laughs> like okay. like that Bev- Bevis Bell yesterday. He co- I, I ain't. I'm, I'm a chef. I said, okay, Bevis. Okay, okay chef. Chef, chef Bevis. Chef. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, that, yeah, this is di- my, my. So, so <laughs> I, I, and, and let me tell our audience that you brought one of the chefs with, yeah, yes, I brought a chef with me. Yeah, introduce your chef. Marco Navarro. N- Navarro, is that Navarro. right? Navarro. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome, <laughs> chef. Appreciate it. Thank you. And he's been in Memphis four years. Okay. He's from Denver, so I'm like, that's a big difference in climate yes. and culture and all kinds of stuff. So so what you think about Memphis, Marco? <laughs> it is. I mean, I love the, the culture here in Memphis. It's very different. Um, Denver's more of a West Coast vibe, but... Um, between the art, the history, the music, and of course the food, like I'm fitting in here for sure. Yeah, <laughs> I, ha, have you, uh, Chef Marco, got used to the Southern cuisine? <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, I appreciate the barbecue. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I have to be in the mood for it. I can't eat it too often, but yeah, yeah. It's just uh, it's a little rich for me, but I'm big on seafood, so it's oh, yeah. it's nice being a little bit closer to the coast, closer to the Gulf. There's like some great seafood spots. So, yeah. so Bev, I saw a picture of him with one of his meals. With I mean, it, Bev, I I just wanted to taste. It. It, okay, I mean, <laughs> syrup and everything. It's a picture on my Facebook page. Okay, it it, it looks amazing. So I'm gonna have to try that dish, Bev. <laughs> okay, so so Chef Marco, do you have a restaurant here or? I don't have a restaurant. I just, I do private events. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm a private chef here. Private chef, yeah. Um, so any any size. Um, I work with the, close with the charity group also. Yeah. Um, Community Service Leaders of America. So we do a lot of events here. Uh-huh. And um, so I'm always, I'm always cooking for those too. What is your specialty? People love to ask me that. Uh, I would say... <laughs> <laughs> so... The food that I enjoy eating is going to be like Italian and seafood, but the food that people really gravitate towards that I make for them is more like the Latin stuff. Okay, Um, yeah. um, Probably a single dish that I could identify would be pozole, which is a Mexican stew. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in Memphis don't really know what that is. Uh, No, that's my first time hearing it. (laughs) Yeah, so there's, there's really two traditional ways that it's prepared there's a one prepared with green chilies and red chilies Mm -hmm. the green chilies is usually made with chicken and then the red chilies is traditionally made with pork but it's it's really it's really i would say it's mexican soul food it's comfort food yeah um that's actually something that we traditionally eat for christmas too um but anytime i make that it's usually a big hit Mm. and i i actually made that for um, a Cinco de Mayo event that 
I did with CSLA and um, wow. I did Oxtails to wow. give, it, give it some Southern spin on it. Yeah. That was a big hit. Yeah. So on tomorrow, because it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. What starting is, at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Hey. First Baptist Bra. Okay. Keith Norman Church. Pastor, Dr. Keith Norman Church. <laughs> yeah. He, and he, I want to give him a shout out too because yeah. he's always supportive of no matter whatever I'm working for with the full when I, my previous employer whatever we needed from there uh he opened up his church he's just always been kind and supportive so good, good. and he has a great staff his son Kenan, yeah. and then pastor craig uh they work with us they are, are always awesome always kind always great yeah i, I was gonna ask ask chef marco what's gonna be your dish tomorrow is that a secret or no it's not a secret uh, <laughs> Because I know I'm the only one coming with the... <laughs> oh, I know you, brother. <laughs> yeah, I sat up a little bit. So I'm doing a Mexican dish. It's green chili chicken enchiladas. Oh, that sounds good. That's, wow. So the chilies are roasted. Traditionally, they're going to be coming from the region that I'm from, from like New Mexico, Colorado. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, but it's going to have a kick. So I'll be in the entree round. I'm going for the win. <laughs> the entree round. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, so, Gail, you said it was four? It's four categories. categories. Uh, yeah, uh, appetizers, soup slash salad, um, which Pastor Roger, he made an well, awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw my friend Roger Brown. Yeah, he he, he uh, cooked it, up the stuff, and it was. I was like, Lord, it, I mean, that looked really good. Because so I saw he did, a, he did a hot spinach salad. Yeah, that's what it was, a hot spinach salad. And I had never thought about a salad like Look, that, but it, it, yeah, it looked amazing. And so, soup slash, soup slash salad entree and dessert so i'm i'm dying to take i well i'm gonna make sure i don't eat anything today so i can taste a lot tomorrow <laughs> oh, and yeah. that's gonna be my breakfast lunch and dinner when right, i eat that right, tomorrow right, <laughs> right so 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 gail if is, is it too late for people who are listening to come and get tickets or how do they oh, do that no 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 uh so people can or get uh go online to eventbrite and uh, order tickets or they can get tickets at the door. And those who order the tickets online, they just bring them and then we will give them a, hard, a real ticket. Mm-hmm. Because on the ticket will be the number of judges uh, who are there. And say, for example, if they go to Marco's uh, place and say he's uh, number two. Okay. So when you try his dish, then he's going to scratch it off to say you've already tried his okay. dish. Okay, gotcha. And so, uh, yeah, so that, yeah, but yeah, people can pay at the door. It's only $20 per person. It's oh, going that's to not a great, bad. Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't, we wanted, we what we wanted affordable. to do. Affordable. Yeah, we wanted it to be affordable if people wanted to bring their children, their family, or whatever. Yeah. We just want people to come out and celebrate the Memphis Urban League, the programming that we provide. And uh, so it's just another way. We're getting out here in this community and letting folks know we are alive at the Memphis Urban League. Uh, and I, we have the uh, Memphis Urban League Young Professionals. They are a very supportive group. So we want as many young people as possible to work with that group. We're working on starting another group called the Guild, and that's for people who are 40 years and older mm-hmm. who want to volunteer for the Memphis Urban League. And we got a lot of great work. Uh, out here, so we don't, and we in addition to our program, we also are, are a civil rights organization. Yeah, uh, we speak up for those injustices that you know, social injustice and stuff. So we are still here to keep up the fight. Uh, voter education right now, one of the big things national is pushing all over the country. We are pushing is to regain your vote. We don't tell people how to vote, mm-hmm. but it is absolutely critical. Yes, that everyone votes, and not only when you go vote, take some folks with you. This November election, and every election, people say this is the most important election. Right. Well, believe me when I say that November 2024 election is the most important election that I will have had in my lifetime. And probably others feel the exact same way. We must go vote. So there are other social justice issues that the Memphis, the National Urban League that supports and all the 93 Mm -hmm. affiliates. Uh, we have 93 presidents across the country. Uh, we have our national conference next week, so I'm looking forward to going there and learning as much as I can. Yeah, it's been great just being a part of this organization. So, but I do want to also mention sure. the winners for tomorrow. We'll have two. Uh, uh, well, in each category, there will be a winner. Mm-hmm. So we will have judges mm-hmm. who will select uh, winners in the four categories, mm-hmm. and then we will have the People's Choice Award. 
So, Bev, you come out and you try some foods. Mm-hmm. You say, well, I'm going to vote for uh, Chef Mark, uh, Marco. Uh-huh. And so uh, we'll, we'll have four categories of winners for the People's Choice Award. And then we'll have four categories of winners for the Judge's Best Chef Award. So. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So, Chef Marco, you're smiling. <laughs> you're going to be a winner. I'm trying to win both categories. <laughs> he said he's going to win both. The people and, the, and the judges. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and Gal's going to ask you, some of the other the chefs that you can name, think about who's going to be there. Okay. Who, 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 who is cooking? Well, okay, so I'm going to tell you something. For we got yeah, Chef, tell me. I want to know. We got Chef Marco. And then, you know, Brian Harris. And, yeah. you know, people keep shouting Brian out. They keep challenging Brian. So Brian must got some good food. Yeah. So he must be. Is he the man to be Marco? Is this Chef I, actually, I'm not familiar with Brian. So. <laughs> well, well, they say, well, anyway, uh, Pastor uh, Roger Brown said he, he, he cooks a mean um uh, uh, peach cobbler, but I don't know. Pastor Brown's peach cobbler was real oh, good, yeah. so it's, we gonna, it, it's, it's delicious. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what category Brian Harris is in, but I, I'm dying to see it. Then we got Bevis Bell. Uh, you know, he, he, he's a chef uh-huh. and, uh, he has great soul food and other food. Uh, so I ain't going to get into what all he cooked cause he'll be getting in my face about, uh, not telling, saying it right. So then we got Harold Collins. He's what? a yeah. Well, people been calling Harold now, but Harold ain't been, been, been bouncing back. I guess he his thing gonna be. I'm just gonna show him Saturday. Right. Harold gonna show him Saturday. So, and then we have we have the the Baptist Hospital is tied. They they have a partnership with Black Men in White Coats. Okay. And so we're gonna have a team called Black Men in White Coats. And so we are at the Memphis Urban League will be partnering with this organization. Oh, good. And that's uh, working with African American males to become uh, to get into the medical profession. I love so that. we're looking yes. forward to working out that partnership with them. And then we have Damian Thompson and Clay Perry and Tyrus Anderson. And Tyrus Anderson has a, a, a catering company. And J. Christopher Robin Miller. <laughs> and he's, Brian told me about him. He's an artist and he's he's on board to cook. And then we got an entry from Corey Strong and Alvin Crook mm-hmm. and Eric Dunn and Assessor Melvin Burgess. Wow. He's throwing his hat in there. And then we have Merritt Bailey. And Merritt owns a barbecue shop. It's uh-huh. called, it's a hog, wow, it's a hog slum. But anyway, I, his food is really good. And I'm not, and I'm messing up. It's ball something. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. I'm messing up the name of the yeah, man. That's, all, that's all right. But anyway, he, he's <laughs> participating. Ball hoggers, right? Is it? I've heard of that. Yeah. That's, yeah. It, yeah. that's it, ball hoggers. Is, uh-huh. is that it? Okay. So you say, I'm, I'm 100 years old, y'all, so give me some grace. <laughs> 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 I always use that as an excuse, man. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love it. So that's Mary Bailey. And then, oh, my God, Representative G.A. Hardaway. Oh, Lord. So I had, That's I had, my boyfriend. I, yeah, that's my exactly. Boyfriend. I know he keep you all over his social media yeah. page. So I had to beat him down. So he, gonna, he is going to participate. Jesse Ch- Representative yes. Jesse Chisholm. Good. Uh, he told Brian, my son, Brian, he said, well, I didn't think I was going to be back in town this time, but I'm going to be back in town. So I'm going to see what he's going to be preparing. And then uh, Representative Joe. Joe Towns, my friend since the early 90s. He's I supposed know. to be, I don't know what he Joe cooking, but we're going to see. And then we already mentioned Pastor Roger Brown and then yeah. uh, uh, Willie Henry oh, over yeah. at the congressman's office. Yeah. So those are some of the ones that brother. I got. That's yeah. my brother. You got some good men. Yeah, we do. We got some. We got a good lineup. Uh, I am excited uh, about this event. I'm excited about our, our chefs. I'm excited about our judges. I'm just excited about the event that we're getting back out in the community and letting yes. everybody know that Memphis Urban League is it's still, still here. around. And we're still here and we got services to provide for everyone. Yeah. Uh, Chef Marco, what do you want to tell our listeners? Uh, you to tell them to invite them to come on out tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a great event. Um, I'm really excited to to meet some of these some heavy hitters <laughs> that Ms. Carson just mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be great food. You can't really beat that deal. Twenty dollars to try out. No, you can't. That, that's food. great. Yeah, we did want to make sure that it was affordable. Yeah, yeah. and I think and I and, and and it's something, Gail, as you said, and and Chef Markle, that this is for the entire family. So yeah. you know, something to do on a Saturday. It's a safe place. Exactly. People can come out, bring your bring your kids, mm-hmm. and uh, have a good time and taste some good food. Exactly. And so, you know, Bev, I do have to give a shout out to sure. some of my our sponsors because they are helping make this possible. And this Baptist Hospital, uh, the Memphis Tourism, Kevin Kane's group out there, uh, City Council Chairman J.B. Smiley, uh, Council uh, County Commission, uh, 
uh, well, he is over the budget. That's Mikhail Lyre, my guy. Uh-huh. And, well, so is J- JB is my guy, too. So, uh, and who else is a sponsor? Um, then I had a, a, an anonymous sponsor. Uh-huh. And uh, Ant- Antonio Parkinson's, you know, he has a podcast. Yes, he does. That group is also a sponsor. Oh, good. Well, so. Good. So we got so we got some good sponsors. I appreciate them. They are what they're doing is supporting the Memphis Urban League, and we greatly appreciate that. I love that. I love that. And again, Chef Marco, tell our listeners what you will be making so they make sure they 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 come and taste your food. Yeah, definitely. So tomorrow we'll be having some green chili chicken enchiladas. Oh, that sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, that great. sounds. Is it, he says it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, and you're gonna be a Everyone's winner. Everyone's gonna huh? love it, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, can I talk about sure, an event sure, for September? Sure. Um, we're doing a breakfast for the homeless event with uh, Community Service Leaders of America. It's gonna be at Morris Park. Um, last time we did a homeless uh, feed the homeless event, we fed like over 300 people. So wow, this one we're gonna partner up with some of the breakfast spots across the city, and we're looking to hit that same number, like hopefully 250 to 300. Homeless people fed and try oh, to get fabulous. Get them some supplies and yeah. um, trying to get some barbers to come out too. Oh, that would be great! So you're looking to do this in in September. That's going to be September seventh at Morris Park. Oh, good. Um, from eight a.m. to twelve p.m. Oh, good. So that, that'll be great too. I'll be cooking for that too. Oh, good for you. Good and helping the community. I like that. I like that. I like Thank that. You. Any other words, sister? I just yeah. hope everyone can make it out tomorrow, come out, support uh, the Memphis Urban League, taste some of this good food, and uh, we're going to see who the winner is. Winners out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I'm and, and like you said it. earlier, Gail, if they don't go online, you can pay at the door. They can pay at the door or they can go to Eventbrite. Uh, and look up the uh, men who cook Memphis Urban League, and it'll be on there if they want to get the tickets early. But they definitely can pay at the door. Good, good. Mm-hmm. Any other last words, Chef Marco? I'll have my car with me tomorrow, but um, also if you guys want to find me on social media, I'm on Instagram at Cooking with Poppy. Uh, it's Cooking W P A P I, and then TikTok as well, Cooking W I T P A P I. So you guys can catch me on there. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Sounds good. Sounds good, Sister Gail. So, babe, you-, you coming out to try some of this food? So, so I'm a, I may try to come out. <laughs> you know, tomorrow, tomorrow, Gail, at my church, my men are having their little breakfast. So oh. I'm going to, yeah, at Mount Pisgah. So oh, yeah. uh, they're having their prayer breakfast. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I'll try yeah, to support to, it then. You, need you know, I need, I need to be at the prayer breakfast. Yeah, you need to be at the prayer breakfast. <laughs> but I'm going to try to get up because what time are you so all 11 eating? to 3. 11 to 3, 11 okay. To 3, yeah. So, and so I do want to say we're sure. going to have special guests to just drop in. Our mayor, Paul uh, Young, is going to drop in around noon. And then we have a special guest, uh, Chef Philip, is also yeah. going to drop by as well. So, And he couldn't really participate because he has another event back-to-back today, yeah. but I appreciate him dropping in. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. So... Memphis Urban League's first men who cook competition. That's right. I like it. I, I do too, Bev. Thank I, you so much. And so that was also uh, our, yeah. ju- our judge, Ernestine Hunt Doors. She threw, as we were brainstorming, this was one of her ideas. Oh, good. You know, you know that's my church member. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. But, but this is a good idea. Yeah. I like it. But you I, know, I used to go to Mount Pisk when I was a little girl. Did you? Yeah, I lived. We, we, we lived in Orange Mound right there on Hanley, right around the corner. I know Right across the street from uh, Melrose Elementary so we went to we went to Mount Pisgah and then we moved to Glenview uh, when I was in the 6th grade uh-huh. and Bev you know back then we walked everywhere we sure and so did. we yes. walked from Glenview to Mount Pisgah every Sunday wow for a long time Wow. Yes. Gail, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, but that yeah. you attended that. I went to Melrose Elementary. I hear you, sister. Yes, ma'am. and then when it was no longer <laughs> elementary, then I yeah. had to go to uh, Hanley. Hanley, yeah. Yeah, right down the street. That was yeah. right down the street. Mayor was right across the street. So you know a little bit about Orange Mountain. Oh, yeah, I know about, about Orange Mountain. So you remember the Hudson's, right? They live two doors from us. Two doors. Ricky Hudson. That's, brother, that's my Bob church Hudson, the, Bob the, Hudson. The, the Hudson's are my church members. Yeah. Uh, so they still go to my, my pit? Is right Barbara, there. Barbara? Right. That Dr. Hudson is still there. Uh, okay. And his brother, you know, because they play golf. and Yeah, exactly. 
So we're we gonna they still we, have sisters. Exactly. We're gonna track them down for that golf tournament yeah, on August twenty fourth. Well, well, Judge already seen. She can get them. She, she can get them because yeah, they because they right there at the church. Matter of fact, they just honored him, didn't they? They, they sure did. Yeah. They did. They did. Yeah. So, you yeah. only sister. <laughs> 